Writing is an extreme privilege but it's also a gift. It's a gift to yourself and it's a gift of giving a story to someone. I did not lose myself all at once. I rubbed out my face over the years washing away my pain, the same way carvings on stone are worn down by water. I was intelligent enough to make up my own mind. I not only had freedom of choice, I had freedom of expression. I am an American, steeped in American values. But I know on an emotional level what it means to be of the Chinese culture. Who knows where inspiration comes from? Perhaps it arises from desperation. Perhaps it comes from the flukes of the universe, the kindness of the muses. I loved fairy tales when I was a kid. Grim. The grimmer the better. I loved gruesome gothic tales and, in that respect, I liked Bible stories, because to me they were very gothic. I saw my mother in a different light. We all need to do that. You have to be displaced from what's comfortable and routine, and then you get to see things with fresh eyes, with new eyes. I was shocked, and I ended up contacting three academics to find out if it could possibly be that my grandmother was a courtesan. I think I've always been somebody, since the deaths of my father and brother, who was afraid to hope. So, I was more prepared for failure and for rejection than for success. No one in my family was a reader of literary fiction. So, I didn't have encouragement, but I didn't have discouragement, because I don't think anybody knew what that meant.